Okay, so now you know the difference between frames and bounds. The only thing left to do is to use frames and bounds to create your own scroll view. To do this, we'll be using a gesture recognizer. A gesture recognizer allows us to respond to touches. We may want to run code when a user performs a gesture. For instance, we may want to shrink an image when the user pinches over it. There are many different types of gesture recognizers for various gestures. We'll be using the pan gesture as we want to scroll the content as the user pans down. Okay, so here I have the sample project open. And in this sample project, we'll be creating our own do-it-yourself scroll view. Now, I'm going to switch over to main.storyboard here. And you can see I have a very simple view controller set up. I have this green view that contains all these images, which are speakers at our WDevCon. And what I'd like to do is add scrolling to it. Now, I could add a scroll view to it, or I could write my own. And that's what we're going to do. So... To do this, I need to create a new custom view. So I'm going to click File, New, and File. And it's going. this is going to be a type of Cocoa Touch class. For the name, I'm going to call this RW Scroll View. And this is a type of UI view. And I'll just click Next. OK, now to write some code. First, I'll delete this boilerplate code here. And the first thing I need to do is to create an initializer. And in this initializer, we'll create our gesture recognizer. So I'll type required. You can see we have init right here. And this is what we want to add our code in. Now, before we do anything, we want to call super init. And we're going to pass in the decoder. Now let's create our gesture recognizer. And this is a pan gesture. And you can see we're instancing a UI pan ge gesture recognizer. This takes a target and an action. The target is going to be self. And the action is going to be a method we haven't written yet. I'll type selector. And the name of the method is going to be called pan view. And I'll just put with in here. And you can see that's it. Now we're going to get a compile error because this selector hasn't been created yet. You could ignore that for now. But before we do anything, we want to add our gesture recognizer to the view. So we just pass in the pan gesture. And that's it. OK, let's create our pan view method. To start it off, I'm going to add an attribute. It's going to be at and objc. And this is so this pan gesture can call it. This is a new, this is a new language feature that was added into Swift 4. And of course, this is going to be called pan view. And we're going to match the signature. You can see this takes a UI pan gesture recognizer. OK, now to write the code. First, I want to know how much the user has panned. Now, I'll store this in a variable called translation. And I can get this by calling gesture recognizer translation. And for the view, we'll simply put self. Now, at this point, we want to move the view so we can alter the bounds y origin. This scroll view is only working on the y axis. You could also write it to work on the x axis, but we're only concerned with vertical scrolling. To do this, I type self.bounds, and then we're going to call origin.y. And we're going to take the origin and subtract the translation from it. Once we do this, we want to reset the actual translation. And we just set the translation to be 0. And that's it. This is our own do-it-yourself scroll view. OK, to test this out, I need to switch back to my main.storyboard. And I'm going to select this green view here. Now, in the Identity Inspector, this is the third tab here, I'm going to select a class. You can see it's a UI view, but instead I'm going to choose an RW scroll view. And now I'm going to build and run. And here I'll move this over to the side so that we can see our simulator. OK, here we have our scroll view working. And look at this. 
Now, one thing you'll notice is that it's actually kind of wooden. We're not employing any kind of animation. It just kind of stops once we let it let go. We can add a little bit of animation here. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to switch over to my rwscrollview.swift file. And in this block here, I'm going to encapsulate this. So I'm going to type UI view animate. And I'm going to give it a duration of 0 0.02. And now we'll pass in our animation block. And we will add this here. Now I'm going to build and run. And you can see it's a little bit smoother. Now one of the nice things about using the pre-built scroll view that comes with iOS is that we get all sorts of animations included with it. But this will work fine for our do-it-yourself scroll view for now.